Hello everyone, vacuum unboxing time again. This could be one of two vacuum cleaners, but I think I've narrowed it down to being a Hoover cylinder. I'm expecting a Hoover upright as well. I have a feeling, oh, lots of packaging. <laughs> well, that's good and bad. Lots of packaging means that hopefully the cleaner has been protected but on the negative side, it means I've got a lot to clean up after. Right. It is what I was expecting. It's a Hoover cylinder cleaner. I used to have one of these in, it was almost mint. I don't know if they called it a Harlequin. I think it's still called a Harlequin still, but this is the Tartan Harlequin. So if you like all things Scottish, this is the vacuum for you. The Hoover Harlequin with Tartan design. I think it could be Black Watch Tartan, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. So we have, ooh, squeaky squeaky, a correct carpet and floor nozzle. Looks in pretty good shape, will clean up nicely. Ooh, but it has had a lot of use because the rubber teeth and I think I've got some, I think I've got a couple of spares somewhere. But those rubber teeth are completely worn down to the nub. If you've had a look at uh, Katie Price, her real teeth reminds me of those before she puts the veneers on. So we've got the uh, rubber teeth for pet hair. We've got a floating brush that you can leave floating for carpets and hard floors. You don't have to adjust or you can have it by pressing the pedal. To setting two, you can have the brush out permanently. Setting one is floating, I think. Yes, setting one is floating. Or if you push the brush in and press down number two, then you can have the brush up all the time. But uh, we'll leave it on floating. So yeah, that's a pretty good shape. We've got... Uh, some ones here, they're not all genuine I don't think. I might be discarding some of these. Um, that one possibly isn't genuine. I don't know if they all said Hoover on the clip, but that doesn't say Hoover. I mean, it looks like a Hoover one. This one's broken, so I think that's a bin job. Now this one does say Hoover um, and it's a curved handle to put your own hose on. It's all intact, no suction control on there. And then we do have here a genuine Hoover extension wand because it does actually say, you won't be able to see, but it does say Hoover printed on there. Then we have a wall and floor brush. Which again has seen a fair amount of use. Lots of fluff trapped in the brushes. Nice and soft. Very nice for your parquet flooring. Then we have, hmm, they've, uh, for some reason, have taken off the end where the bag goes in probably to fit it in the box I think that's all they've done that for yes it's not bad not bad condition doesn't seem to it's faded a bit it should be whiter than that but it's not too bad got a nice metal catch we've got a hose a Hoover double stretch hose now, this doesn't have any sort of suction control on the handle either, so I'm wondering if it's been replaced. And yes, this, that is definitely, well, it's not even a Hoover hose. Now, I've probably got a spare. In fact, I'm sure I've got a spare one. This isn't genuine, I can, I can tell. It's not, it doesn't seem to stretch as much. It feels completely different. This handle pit, uh, that's not as big as the genuine Hoover one. It doesn't have Hoover logo embossed on it so i think the whole hose yes everything about it 
Maybe the end part there is genuine that's discolored. That'll come off. But um, I'm, I'm sure I've got a Hoover hose for a Hoover cylinder that will uh, go with this machine. So I'm not going to throw this away, but it isn't genuine. Got some more small tools. We have dusting brush, lovely soft brushes, nice condition. Is that's twisted around the wrong way? Am I going to be able to do it? Oh, just oh, that's stiff. That would be better if I'd soak that in a bit of hot water first. But anyway, there you go. Dusting brush, crevice tool. That's yeah, split at the end. I did notice that in the picture. It was pointed out, so I was expecting that. But I'm sure I've got some spares and an all-purpose brush as opposed to the all-purpose nozzle so you can use that on your upholstery and your curtains etc again it does swivel it might be stiff again yeah I won't I won't uh, risk cracking the plastic you can see the pip there is in the wrong place so if I was to put that on the well, I'll put it on this handle you see it's in the wrong unless you're cleaning a wall this way it's in the wrong place but if I turn it now with it in the handle it might break the pip off I've done that once before I've made that mistake once and I won't make it again I think we can have the cleaner out now just check everything is out of the box lots of useful packaging for later when I sell some of my cleaners right Okie dokie. Now there is something wrong with the, the cover on this. I'm hoping, I nearly didn't buy the cleaner because of the fault I'm about to show you, but I'm hoping there is a way of fixing it. Ah, oh, breathe in the vintage smell. At least they haven't sent me any dirt. Yeah, it's it's uh, pretty good shape. Certainly compared to my other Harlequin, that sort of mustardy colour one, that was a bit rougher. This was the last sort of version of the Harlequin. There was a choice of colours when it was launched. Where's the end? I'm just feeling around for it. Here it is. And then eventually this became a single model on its own. I think this was sold at the same time as the lovely top of the range conquest and if you want to see a conquest i was lucky enough to get one of those a while back you can see that on my channel so it's it it bears a few you know it has a few similarities with the conquest now this side is this lovely tartan finish and i've always liked that particular font sort of a very 60s looking font i think this is a 60s cleaner or it could be early 70s, but I think it's 60s. So that looks great. Um, oh. Well, that's strange. Yeah, this has been, this has been um, fiddled with, folks. It's been opened, definitely been opened. There's a little bit of cracking on the... Um, chrome trim here but I'm, I'm I'm a bit perturbed well not perturbed I'm a bit surprised because the fault I can't see the fault I think the seller has fixed it perhaps the seller knew it was coming to me I don't know but in the original pictures the tartan the vinyl sort of covering on the metal body of the cleaner was sort of coming away but it seems to have been repaired as far as I can tell so yeah that's that is odd but perhaps in the in the repairing the original owner has split the trim here but it's nothing major on this side we have the famous Hoover roundel. 
Yeah. Well, pretty surprised. I mean, I'm going to clean it up. Might try a bit of retro brighting at some stage. It's not too bad. It's gone a little cream, hasn't it? But trouble is, often with retro brighting, it's not a permanent fix. Everything goes back to yellow. I'm sure if I go into my stores for cleaners I've retro brighted, they'll have gone yellow again. So anyway, let's clear the decks and have a closer look at this Hoover cleaner. It's got the original ribbed cable and even a little clip on there to secure the cable and a fairly age appropriate plug. I've got some lovely new, new but vintage Ashley plugs, which I'm going to fit to a lot of my cleaners from the 60s and 70s. Um, but that is that is fairly age appropriate. It's an older plug. It's probably UK made, made in England. So once that's cleaned up, that plug will be fine. So yes, all in all, I'm pretty pleased so far with this Hoover. Hoover model what? I think it's, uh, is it a 417? Let's have a look. There's a lovely rating plate here. No, it's actually a 419. The Hoover model 419 cleaner, double insulated, AC DC, 230 to 250 volts, 0 to 60 cycles, 600 watts, rating 9. The serial number is GA606181. Hoover products are protected by registered trademarks and or patents. It's got the BEAB approvals mark, made by Hoover Limited, Great Britain. And we can see on the underside of this Hoover 419, there's no wheels or casters. We've just got two plastic skids. We've also got a little clip for hanging the cleaner up. I would never risk that nowadays, but you need a very strong hook on the wall and you can hang the machine up on the wall of your pantry or cupboard under the stairs. You wouldn't necessarily have had a utility room back in the day when this machine was in the shops. Utility rooms weren't really a thing. And of course you've got the plastic handle. That's the only technology we have on this. The only feature, a foot operated on off switch. And then to access the dust bag, we need to open up the clip, take the bag door off completely. And it is, it's plastic with a metal inner. And of course the chrome clip bit of chrome detailing around the hose inlet and we do have a reusable oh that smell it's the vintage sort of rubber cloth and years old dust smell it's been cleaned out though hasn't it so that's good there is a filter now there is someone on eBay at the moment at the time of making this video they've got a few packs of filters for sale for older Hoover cleaners. I think it's mainly for the Conquest, so it includes the top filter as well as the round, you can just about see, the round felt filter. Oh, that smell. Oh, it's so vintage. Mm. So it just takes me back. The smell of a vintage vacuum cleaner is the same now as it was when I was a young child getting old vacuum cleaners from jumble sales and friends, mothers who were parting with their cleaner. Sometimes I got given vacuums, sometimes I had to spend some pocket money. But there we go. Well, there's not much else to show you. I think it's got a blowing outlet, has it? Let's have a look. Yes, it does. An outlet there. So it should be, a, oh, or has it? Hmm, that's odd. It's got a hole. Yeah, but it doesn't actually fit this style of hose with the two two lugs. Well, it should, hopefully. Is it going to fit? Oh, will it fit? Yes, it fits this side. Phew. Well, at least it fits that side. So I think without any further ado, we can plug in this Hoover cylinder. Okie dokie. Let's see if this Hoover sounds as it should. Well, 
not as smooth sounding as my Hoover Conquest, my almost mint, hardly used Conquest, but not too bad. It's possibly sounding a bit boomier, if that's the correct word, than it should. There's a bit of a tone to it that's not quite right in my, for my ears anyway, I don't know about you. It's hard to judge, obviously, on a YouTube video. That's not going in there because, hmm, trying to put a non-gen tube into a genuine tube. Let's try it this, whoops, let's try it this way around. I've got at least a full toolkit that will go with this machine. I did get um, another Hoover cleaner that was um, later than this, an orange one. I don't think I properly unboxed it on this channel. I did a little live, maybe on Instagram or Facebook. And, um, oh, that's okay, that's working. It had a huge dent in it, which was a shame because it was almost mint. But at least I know I've got tools that I can use for another machine. So, yes, well, there we go. Well, that's the Hoover 419 set up for carpet cleaning. Let's give it a go. Well, not so bad. A bit hard to push on this carpet. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It does look nice. It looks very good on my viewfinder. So, um, it's pretty good condition for a machine of this age, whatever age it may be. But I'm saying, as I said, I'm guessing it's uh, sort of late 60s, possibly early 70s on this. I'm not sure how to date the cleaner of this age you'll have to go on the internet and see when this was in the shops but i have a feeling this was the last incarnation the black watch tartan design was sort of on its own when they dropped the other color options <laughs> So there you go, another old Hoover saved from the skip. Needs a little bit of finessing, a little bit of polishing, and I'll get the toolkit accurate with this. I'll get it all uh, genuine. I think this is where the uh, cord wraps around on these machines. 
I don't have an instruction book so I can't check but I think that's correct clip it there and there we have it the Hoover 419 in a very fetching tartan finish thanks for watching this video check out my vintage vacuum playlist if you like vintage vacuums especially vintage hoovers you will see many 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 different models of hoover cleaner throughout the years and this is just another to add to the collection very pleased with this as i said bit of spit and polish and it will look even better than it does now if you have any comments or questions about this old girl, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.